Wisconsin could soon be home to a first-of-its-kind sustainable energy source. Alliant Energy says the Energy Dome will be a reliable, cost-effective, and simple solution to lowering human emissions. Our Kyle Pazorski joins us to explain how it all will work. Kyle? What you're seeing behind me here is video by Energy Dome, which designed the system that shows CO2 going from one side over to liquid gas and then back to CO2. That discharge process you're seeing is what Alliance says will help power our grid in the future. It's a strange looking device, but very simple process. That's what Mike Bremel, Alliant Energy's Director of Engineering and Customer Solutions, calls the Energy Dome. All of the equipment is off the shelf equipment and the process only uses two thermodynamic uh, changes. So it's a, it's a reliable and cost effective and simple solution. Simple to Bremel, who's been with the line for 20 plus years, but for most, the odd looking device looks out of this world. Italian company Energy Dome designed the system. They say it takes carbon dioxide and compresses it down to a liquid form. When the liquid is released into gas, that produces the energy as it transitions. Bremel says other renewables like solar and wind have certain deficiencies. When there's no wind, no power can be generated. No sunshine, no energy. Currently, Alliance Coal-Powered Columbia Energy Center is filling in for our energy needs when renewables are not available. He says the energy dome will be able to fill the gaps when you don't have the energy production from the intermittent renewable energy resources. Alliance goal is to one day achieve net zero carbon emissions. Their CEO saying in a statement, the Columbia Energy Storage Project is just one way we are investing in the communities we serve while building a stronger, smarter and more sustainable energy future. Now the question you're probably asking, will this lower my energy bill? An Alliant representative tells me that unfortunately they can't determine if the Energy Dome will contribute to lower energy prices. For you and I, saying many factors go into our bills, but that's just not one source of energy. $30 million for the project is coming from a federal grant by the Department of Energy. Kyle.